Hello students and good afternoon. So in the last online class, we finished second order derivative. So today we'll start the, we will start the new chapter that is relation and function. So in class 11 also we did a relation and function. So I mean class 11 when relation function got in, I mean it is my only math got in. So now in class 12, I will tell you the details of relation and function. Before that, you should know the sets. Sets money, I mean, class 11 my gore ke ho. So, my class 11 ko alik the revision gore ho. Then, we will do uh, details of this relation and function. Okay. So, today we will discuss about relation. So, before that, you should know about the sets. The class 11 my money, I mean, sets gore ke ho. The sets ek ho ta. I mean, class 11 ko revision gore ho. Aile. Kine mane you relation gore ho lai class 11 ko hamila alik the knowledge ho nupar ho. The class 11 को kick in knowledge in Uparsa Bandabari, a relation song or related chapter Kunkuno Bandabari sets a Cartesian product of two sets. You do it as a Ekdame Ramosan Yatun Uparsa. Tixa, the Timalai side Thasola, what is a set? What do you mean by Cartesian product of sets? Isn't it? So now let's start set. Set secure, what do you mean by set? The set when you secure. A set is a collection of well-defined distinct objects. So what is set? A set is a collection. A set is a collection of well-defined, well-defined distinct objects. A set is a collection of well-defined distinct objects. Okay. Now, what is meant by well-defined distinct objects? So, what is meant by well-defined distinct objects? Suppose, take an example. Let let capital I denote the set of integers. Let capital I denote the set of integers. So you universe man, zati pani integers, integers are san. I mean, sabhi hai lekso. Thik sa? You universe man, zati pani integers are san. Sab pani I mean, lekso abo. So now uh, minus infinity dot 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 minus three minus two minus one. 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. It goes up to plus infinity. Okay. So now the set is usually denoted by capital letters. The set is usually denoted by capital letters. And within second bracket, you will write down the members of the elements of the set I. The set may be represented by capital A, capital B, capital C, etc. So here since this is an integer, so we have represented this set by capital I. So here I is the set of integers. Integers means it may be negative integers, it may be positive integers, including zero. Distinct means, distinct means it should be single. Now just saying minus three, why not? also a minus three, why Minus two, sir. Yeah, also a minus two unu bhai na. Yeah, three sa also a three unu bhai na. You say single element matra unu pars. It should be distinct and it should be well defined. That is, I means it is a well defined, well defined sets. That means I means it is the set of collection of integers. You universe ma zati bani integers sa. I mean, sab pani yaha likhu. Minus infinity bani kyu? So. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, minus 7, minus uh, 10,000, minus 1 quarter, minus 1 order of etc. Okay. Then 0, 1, 2, 3 plus infinity means 3, 4, 5, 6, etc. 1,000, 10,000, 1 million, 1 quarter, uh, 1 order of etc. It goes up to plus infinity. So the members of the set is usually denoted by small letters small letters or it may be some numbers is that clear to all of you so this i is the set of integers is that clear next let 
कैपिटल वी बी द सेट ऑफ भावेल्स सेट ऑफ भावेल्स इट इज अ वेल डिफाइंड डिस्टिंक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट सेट ऑफ भावेल्स इट इज डिफाइंड व्हाट काइंड ऑफ सेट द सेट ऑफ द सेट ऑफ द सेट ऑफ भावेल्स लेट कैपिटल बी बी द सेट ऑफ भावेल्स let capital b be the set of vowels it is well defined objects that means b is the set of vowels right so it is a comma e comma i comma o comma u it is the set of vowels is that clear to all of you uh, you know natural numbers natural numbers starts from 1 it should be always positive plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 etc right let capital n be the set of n natural numbers let capital n be the set of natural numbers so natural numbers starts from plus 1 that is 1 2 3 4 5 5 dot 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 it goes up to plus infinity so this is the set of all natural numbers okay and then real numbers you know real numbers isn't it Uh, real numbers means all defined numbers all defined numbers are denoted by the set r let capital r be the set of real numbers let capital r be the set of real numbers that is capital r is equal to minus infinity it may be 2 by 3 uh, it may be 3 by 2 etc it may be root over 3 it may be root over 10 it may be 9 uh it may be minus 3 by 5 etc these are all real numbers okay real numbers means which are defined numbers so these are the example of sets is that clear to all of you so now uh these are all the examples of set uh, you can note it down सो आई थिंक यू हेवन स्टूड दिस सेट ओके अच्छा अब कतिवटा हमें यह मैथमेटिकल नोटेसन सीक्न पर्व इसमें ठीक है मैथमेटिकल नोटेसन जो तिमें क्लास इलेवेन में नहीं फिर यहाँ मिविजन करा नौ यू नो दैट this is a mathematical notation this means there exist there exist because because i may use these symbols okay i may use these symbols for relations and functions that's why we are writing all the symbols okay so you should know the meaning of the symbols in mathematics okay there exist uh this means for all this means for all you know that uh this means this means what such that such that you such that hamile mathematical induction ma use gareko ho thik cha or esto pani such that e ho this is also such that uh esto ke ho belongs to yo ke bhayo belongs to यो के भो बिलंग्स टू इज दैट क्लियर तो यो रामस याद होने तिमा ने अच्छा यो यूनियन यू नो यूनियन इज एन इट यूनियन व्हाट इज दिस व्हाट इज दिस यस व्हाट इज दिस दिस वन इंटरसेक्शन राइट दिस इज इंटरसेक्शन दिस इज योर इंटरसेक्शन इज दैट क्लियर यू के भो भी जो के भ this is or or uh this is your what this is your and and ela ke huncha implies that hai na esko ke ba implies that implies implies that is that clear to eti chai ti mane ramro sanga yaad garne 
ठीक सर सो यो से बा रिगार्डिंग सिंबल्स इज दैट क्लियर टू ऑल ऑफ यू तो हमें ले जो जो सही यूनियन इंटरसेक्शन सबसेट और बने थे ना अलग ही रिवीजन करो भाई ठीक सर अन्य कार्टेशन प्रोडक्ट बने अलग ही रिवीजन हमें ले गौर नहीं पड़ता कि ना रिलेशन को लगे कार्टेशन प्रोडक्ट यू सुड नो इट ओके सो यू कैन कॉपी इट So now, uh, suppose let A is the set of numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? And suppose capital B is equal to minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, etc. So, capital A is the set of numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And capital B is the set of numbers minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. So, you, uh, you know that A union B. So, what is the meaning of, what was the meaning of A union B? Elements belonging to the set A or set B or both. A union B बने क्यों? Elements belonging to the set A और set B और both. Is that clear? A union B means elements belonging to the set A और set B और both. त्यो elements A में पनी उन्हों पर हो, B में पनी उन्हों पर हो, कितना दूसरे में उन्हों पर है? That is known as A union B, right? So you can write here minus one, zero, then one 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 two three 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Is that clear to all of you? So this is your A union B. Now, what is A intersection B? What is meant by A intersection B? Now, what is meant by A intersection B? Elements belonging to A and B both. Elements belonging to both A and B. You have to write down the common elements here. Common, common elements in both A as well as B. A intersection B is equal to A mapani is equal to elements in both A. B mapani is equal to elements in both A. Do you understand? Do you understand? Do you understand? Do common elements are? This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Is that clear now? So this is your A intersection B. So, I think you have understood it. Is that clear now? So, next, next one is, in this case, this set A is known as the subset of B. A is a subset of B. So, subset, A is a subset of B. Uh, a is a subset of B. That is, a is a subset of B. That is, every element of the set A is also an element of B. If every element of the set A is also an element of B, then A is known as the subset of B. Is that clear? Every element of the set A should be the element of set B. Then A is known as the subset of B. Is that clear? So, subset. तो यह क्यों उन्हें ऐसा सबसेट A इस एक सबसेट ऑफ B बने क्यों? Every element of the set A must be the element of the set B. That is A is equal to यह one two three four five six सा ते B में पनी सा one two three four five six सा. That means A is एक सबसेट ऑफ B. That is every element of the set A is also an element of the set B. Okay? But is B a subset of A? Is B a subset of A? No. So here B ma kotha element oru chan. That is minus one seven eight nine. Junse se A ma is hai na. But if B is not a subset of A, in this case A is a subset of B because every element of the set A is also an element of the set B. So A is a subset of B. But B is not a subset of A. Why? 
B चाहिँ A को किन सबसेट होइन भन्दा फेरि यो B मा यहाँ कति वटा नम्बरहरु छन् जुन चाहिँ चाहिँ A मा छैन दैट इज B मा के छ -1 7 8 9 छ तर के मा छैन यो A मा छैन इज दैट क्लियर सो सबसेट को डेफिनेशन के हुन्छ A इज अ सबसेट अफ B A इज अ सबसेट अफ B कमा इफ एभ्री एलिमेन्ट if every element of the set A of the set A is also an element of is also an element of set B. So what is the uh, definition of subset? Capital A is a subset of B if every element of the set A is also an element of set B. Okay, so its notation is capital A. You is the subset. You say is a subset of. Is a subset of. So its symbol is A is a subset of B. Your symbol ko meaning oh, the meaning of the symbol is is a subset of. A is a subset of B. So what is this meaning? Every element of the set A is also an element of the set B. So we can say that A is a subset of B. Suppose in the reverse way, uh, if every element of the set B is also an element of the set A, then B is said to be a subset of A. Is that clear? The ela ulta bada banda hai. Meko sir banu sakso. You B is a subset of A. Kothi bala banu sakin sa. When can you say that B is a subset of A if every element of B is also an element of the set A? Then in that case, we say that B is a subset of A. But in this case, A is a subset of B, but B is not a subset of A. Is that clear? Kina mane, your B is not a subset of A. Kina bhaavana, there are some elements in B which do not belong to the set A. Is that clear now? So this is the meaning of subset. Okay? So you can note it down. Uh, this is read as B is a subset of A. B is a subset of A. So this meaning is a subset of. Okay? So now I am going to say Cartesian product of two sets. So I think you have understood all what I mean to say, okay? So now let us do Cartesian product of two sets. Now, so now for the Cartesian product of two sets, you should know the ordered pair. What do you mean by ordered pair? Suppose if you write A comma B, this is known as what? Ordered pair. Ordered pair. Okay, so A comma B co position say yeah, fix boss A is the first element and B is the second element. So if you arrange, if you arrange the two elements that is A comma B and it is enclosed within bracket, this type of pair is known as what? Ordered pair. The ordered pair ko amila is my knowledge universe. That is first element A comma second element B. If it is enclosed within first bracket, this is known as first bracket, you know that. This is known as what? First bracket. This is the first bracket. Uh, your curly bracket. This is known as curly bracket, which is also known as second bracket. This is also known as second bracket. Okay. And this is known as what? Square bracket, which is also known as the third bracket. This is known as third bracket bracket okay so within bracket if you have got the first element comma second element then this type of uh, then this type of pair is known as ordered pair is that clear to all of you uh, so now you should know about the cartesian product of two sets okay now cartesian product of two sets 
Cartesian product of two sets. So before we do definition of Cartesian product of two sets, let us discuss about the example. Okay, let us take an example now. So let us take an example. Suppose if you have the set A as 1, 2, 3 and the set B as A, B. Okay. Now before we write down the definition or meaning of Cartesian product of two sets, let us take an example. Okay. So let capital A is equal to, uh, so this A and B are the two sets. And this 1, 2 and 3 are the members or elements of the set A. And these members or elements of the set A are enclosed within this second bracket or within curly bracket always. Okay. And B is a set. And this small a comma small b are the elements or members of the set B. And these are put or these are arranged. These, that means a comma b are arranged within, uh, within second bracket. Okay. Or within curly bracket. So this small a comma small b are the members or elements of the set B. Okay. The Cartesian product of two sets is denoted by a cross b. It is read as a cross b. So how can you write down the Cartesian product of two sets A cross B? That is within second bracket. First of all, it is written A out here, capital A. The capital A my first number got this one. So you one body start on this so one comma A. Order pair by you. This is one comma A comma. Right? This is one comma A comma. Then one comma B. Then it is 1 comma B. Okay. Then comes within bracket 2 comma A. 2 comma A. Is that clear? Uh, then comes 3 comma and 2 comma A. Then comes 2 comma B. You have to write 2 first. This is 1 comma A. 1 comma B. 2 comma A. 2 comma B comma. Then 3 comma A comma. 3 comma B. So this is the Cartesian product of two sets A and B. You may write B cross A also. You can write down the Cartesian product B cross A. Now I am going to B like this. So the first B is like this. I am going to A by itself. Small A, A comma one, A comma two, A comma three. So this is A comma one, A comma two, A comma two. Next A comma three. Next comes B comma one. This is B comma 1, B comma 2 and B comma 3. Is that clear? So we have got the Cartesian product B cross A. It is read as A cross B. This is read as B cross A. This is the Cartesian product of two sets A and B. But are they equal? A cross B. You 1 comma A or A comma 1 equal. So in this case, So in this case, A cross B, A cross B not equal to B cross A. In this case, A cross B not equal to B cross A. So I think uh, you have understood it. Okay. So it is A cross B not equal to B cross A. Is it clear to all of you? So I think you have understood it. Okay. So you can note it down. Example. Not going to. Now we'll write down the definition. So what is the definition of Cartesian product of two sets? The Cartesian product of two sets A and B is the set of all ordered pairs within first bracket A comma B where this small a belongs to capital A and small b belongs to capital B. Okay. So uh, you have copied it. You can copy it. So let us write here the Cartesian product of two sets the the Cartesian product the Cartesian product the Cartesian product of two sets the Cartesian product of two sets A and B 
the Cartesian product of two sets A and B is the set of is the set of all ordered pairs is the set of all ordered pairs P A I R S is the set of all ordered pairs A comma B such that such that small a belongs to capital A so you know you know this mathematical notation small a belongs to capital A and and what small b belongs to capital B so this is the definition of Cartesian product of two sets capital A and capital B the Cartesian product of two sets capital A and capital B is the set of all ordered pairs within bracket a comma b such that small a belongs to capital A and small b belongs to capital B okay so you can note it down so our hami relation for so takes a relation when it may go to class 11 ma I know tell any order recapitulation guru takes a Uh, so now let us take an example here so i have written here a is equal to what was there it was 1 comma 2 comma 3 right and b was what was b actually it was a comma b so let us take only a cross b right suppose if you write capital r is equal to yeah but i mean kuna elements are like jun chai like that but it's all right now like take sir so yeah, let us take Jun Chaini that one. Take what? Suppose you layer one comma a, one comma a, you layer two comma a, only three comma a, eighty layer. Take so. So this R is a subset of a cross b. This R is a subset of what a cross b because every element of R, yeah, they make Jun Chaini that one. Say you ordered pair. You may take 1 comma a, 1 comma b, 3 comma b like that. Is that clear now? Then here, what do you say? Pictorial diagram. Pictorial diagram. This is your A set. This is your B set. Right? This is A and this is B. Take sir. The A may be 1, 2, 3. यहाँ B मा के के सा B मा B मा सा A र B इस दा क्लियर तो यो A र B मा अब को की रिलेशन बाय यो एक्चुअली R इस अ रिलेशन यर अली क्यों इसको डेफिनेशन अली मले कहूँ सो सो दिस R इस अ सबसेट ऑफ A क्रॉस B इज़ नेट मले सबसेट अली बका बने व्हाट इन बाय सबसेट R इस अ सबसेट ऑफ A क्रॉस B बिकॉज़ एवरी एलिमेंट ऑफ़ Every element of the set R is also an element of the set A cross B. So here R is a subset of A cross B. Okay. So here one row equal relation sir. Here one row equal keyword relation. Abey relation ko definition ma bandi also. The relation R, the relation R from the set A to the set B is defined as the subset of A cross B. Okay, so here R is a subset of A cross B because every element of the set R is also an element of the set A cross B. The relation R from the set A to the set B is defined as the subset of A cross B. So this R is known as the relation from set A to set B. R is a relation from set A to set B. So, I am going to do the relation to this, not function, right? Only, we will discuss about relation today. Is that clear? So, now what is the relation here? 1 comma A. That is 1 comma A. A means 1 is in relation with A, 2 is in relation with A, 3 is in relation with A. But it's here, what is it? 1 is in relation with A. One row A equal relation by you. Then two is in relation with A. 
2 is in relation with A and also 3 is in relation with A. So, you have a relation by you. That is, LM is a lexon, one of the the one comma A, LM is a lexon, one is in relation with A, one R A, right? This two comma A means two is in relation with A, two is in relation with A, right? And three comma A, I mean, you have a R set, my lexon. R one is a relation. Is that clear? R is said to be the relation from the set A to the set B. The R is the relation from the set A to the set B if R is a subset of A cross B. Is that clear? So this R is a subset of A cross B. That means 1 is in relation with A, 2 is in relation with A and 3 is also in relation with A. How will you write it? 3 R A. So I think you have understood it. Is that clear to all of you? So now, you don't say, the man oil and work on it. So you don't say element of the set A. So you one, two, three. Ella, I make one so domain. Your first element, I make one so a domain. Your first element, one, two, three. I make domain of R one a one so. So this first element is known as what? Domain. Buddha sir. You one is in relation with A, two is in relation with A, three is in relation with A. Tar B sanga related sai na. Ta isma range kothi ma khali A mathe unsa. Range se kunse unsa. Second element is known as the range. Ta isma range kothi ba. Range se kothi unsa isko A mathe unsa. Thik sa? Ta U R bada domain kose nikal sa. Domain mane ko first element. First element donates. Uh, first element. First element denotes the domain. So what is the domain of R? Domain of R is equal to Kathiba 1, 2, 3. First element denotes the domain. That is 1, 2, 3. Right? So it's called range when go. Your R co second element kesa. A. That is the range. Range of R. That is range of R is equal to Kiba Kali. A matai bai go. Take sa. The range of R is A. So, you B is B. A, B is B. Co domain is B. B 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 is B. is B. B is B. B is B. One, you B sanga related by way. Yeti mele one comma B leg by range ma ke on it you range ma a comma B on it you range ma ke on it here a comma B. Take sa suppose you would add gorum yen suppose my add gore rela suppose my name ke add gore one comma B add gore this you but it's one is related with B one is in relation with B one one are B by go you. ठीक सा तेरी बेला यू रेंज की उनसा रेंज ए कॉमा बी उनसा रेंज ऑफ आर से की उनसा तेरी बेला ए कॉमा बी भाई रहा उनसा ठीक सा तो यू से बहुत डोमेन ऑफ आर रेंज ऑफ आर यू को डोमेन से क्यों बी सेट बी सेट को एलिमेंट सब पे लाइन से हम की मंजू को डोमेन मने रह मंजू भाई तो यू सेट बी को ज्यादती में न तो यो बनी आमिले क्लास सिलेबस में गरीब कोई हो, है ना? तो योड़ा क्या याद दोनों पर सा, जून से यो रिलेशन आर सा, रिलेशन आर में यो जून जून फर्स्ट फर्स्ट एलिमेंट्स हैं, तेरा क्या बन जा रहे? डोमेन, यो सेकंड एलिमेंट लाके बन जा रहे? रेंज, ठीक सा? और ये बी को सप्पे एलिमेंट लाके क्या is that clear to all of you? So these are all about your domain, co-domain and what? Reigns. So is that clear to all of you? So how can you define relation out here? Now I am relation like what should define it? Again, I will say the relation R from the set A to the set B is defined as the subset of A cross B. 
Is that clear? So this is an example of relation. So let us write down the definition of relation. So you, know, so you can copy it. So now relation code definition. So relation code definition ki unsa? The relation R the relation R from the set A from the set A the relation R from the set A to the set B to the set B is defined as the subset of is defined as the subset of a cross b the relation r from the set a to the set b is defined as the subset of a cross b so i think you have understood this definition so you can note it down so let us do one example from relation okay then i'll uh, explain you about the types of relation right so now let us take this example let capital a be a set and it's a set of numbers 1 2 3 4 the relation R on the set A is defined by capital R is equal to within second bracket and within first bracket A comma B such that A minus B is greater than 1. A minus B greater than 1. And for all A, B belongs to capital A. For all A comma B belongs to what? Capital A. Uh, this sign is for all. This means belongs to and this a comma belongs to the set a this a comma b belong to the set a that is one two three four right so you a to b i mean a number one in the the a to b is the kind of set of order pair nikano just my key a minus b is greater than one was you have to form the set of order pairs a comma b such that a minus b should be always greater than one is that clear now so you have to find out the relation r first then you have to find out the domain of r and the range of r right so r is equal to kiki r is equal to you have to take a minus b in such a way that it should be greater than one so two minus one what is it two minus one is one but one is not greater than one okay this 3 minus 1 is 2. 2 is greater than 1, isn't it? 3, 1. So you can take here 3, 1. Right? This is 3, 1. Is that clear? Then you can take 4, 1 because 4 minus 1 is 3. 3 is greater than 1. So it is 4, 1. Is that clear to all of you? So I think you have understood it. Okay? So we have taken here uh, 2, 1 is 1. You cannot take this one because 1 is not greater than 1. 1 is equal to 1 is there. So 3 comma 1 is 2. That is 2 is greater than 1. 4 minus 1. 3 is greater than 1. Okay. Uh, next, what will you take? 3 minus 2. What is this? 3 minus 2 is 1. 3 minus 2 is 1. Isn't it? 3 minus 2 is 1. So in this case, you have to take A cross A. A cross A means A cross A means capital A into capital A cross itself. Capital A cross itself. We are alpha. A cross U A set alpha in A Cartesian product of two sets. So they say. Take sir. So A is equal to uh, A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. And also you can take A is equal to 
1, 2, 3, 4. This is what is A cross A? A cross A is A cross B. This is 1, 1, this is 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1,4 ठीक सा देन 2,1 सब पे पॉसिबल ए क्रॉस ए निकालने पड़े हो है ना सब पे पॉसिबल ए क्रॉस ए कौन सा 1,1 1,2 1,3 1,4 देन अब टू ले फिर ही तो ये तू प्रॉब्लम से इस तो 2,1 2,2 2,3 2,4 राइट 2,1 2,2 2,3 2,4 नेक्स्ट थ्री कॉमा वन थ्री कॉमा टू थ्री कॉमा थ्री देन कम्स थ्री कॉमा फोर इज दैट क्लियर देन व्हाट फोर कॉमा वन फोर कॉमा वन फोर कॉमा टू फोर कॉमा थ्री देन कम्स फोर कॉमा फोर दीज आर ऑल द पॉसिबल सेट्स ऑफ ए क्रॉस ए these are all the possible sets of A cross A. That is Cartesian product of A cross A. So yeah, I mean A cross B. Bindu bindu liye no. I mean A cross A. Jun se yo A comma B sa. It belongs to the set A. Same set A mane porde sa mane. I mean A cross A linso. Take sa. Yoda kya difference hai? Agi se I mean A cross B ko kura kor dete hum. Tar yo example mat sa. I mean set A is equal to one two three four matre liye ho. Tar yeh B set banne nahi chahi na. तो यो जो ए कमा बी सब यो ए सेट में नहीं पर्द हमें पे के पे ए क्रस ए नि पे तो ए क्रस ए कस निल ए वन टू थ्री फोर ए फिर वन टू थ्री फोर ते रिपीट भाई सो दीज आर ऑल द पॉसिबल अर्डर पेयर्स अफ ए क्रस ए अब ए माइनस बी अब ए माइनस बी हम ई बड़ छा सौ दीज आर ऑल द पॉसिबल सेट अफ अर्डर पेयर्स ए कमा बी इज एन इट अब हमें ई बड़ नि सौ ए माइनस बी ग्रेटर दैन वन तो सजिलो तर यह लेखी रहने पर्दन डाइरेक्ट यहाँ लेख्ता भी हो यो वन माइनस वन जीरो वन माइनस टू यो कु आएन ग्रेटर दैन वन यो कु ग्रेटर दैन वन आन यो थ्री वन ग्रेटर दैन वन आयो थ्री टू ग्रेटर दैन वन आन थ्री माइनस टू इज वन थ्री माइनस थ्री जीरो थ्री माइनस फोर इज माइनस वन ओके फोर कमा वन थ्री आयो यो फोर कमा टू आ फोर कमा टू इज ग्रेटर दैन वन फोर माइनस टू इज टू सो इट कम्स फोर कमा टू ओके फोर कमा थ्री हो फोर माइनस थ्री वन हो वन इज नट ग्रेटर दैन वन इज दैट क्लियर एंड फोर माइनस फोर इज जीरो तो जीरो इज नट ग्रेटर दैन वन तो यो जो एट रिनेसन डिफाइन भग ए कमा बी सच दैट ए माइनस बी ग्रेटर दैन वन ते हम कुन कुन अर्ड अर्ड पेयर मत हो थ्री कमा वन बिकज थ्री माइनस वन इज टू टू इज ग्रेटर दैन वन फोर माइनस वन इज थ्री थ्री इज ग्रेटर दैन वन फोर माइनस टू दैट इज टू ग्रेटर दैन वन इज दैट क्लियर सेकेंड ब्रैकेट इज क्लोज अरु कु पोसिबल अर्ड अर्ड पेयर से यहाँ जो ग्रेटर दैन वन होन ये तीन टा म ठीक है नाउ व्हाट इज रेन्ज सरी व्हाट इज डोमेन What is domain of R? What is the domain of R? Domain of R say here, what is it? Three comma four, what is it? Domain of R, what is it? Three comma four, right? Your first element, what is it? Your four four, two elements, what is it? It should be distinct set, what is it? A set is a collection of well-defined distinct objects. Okay, now what is it? One by one, what is it? So, what is the domain of R? It is First element, only the first element you have to write. That is three comma four. And what is the range of R? So what is the range of R here? Range of R, what is it? You one one by you. You want to write so one comma you can write two. That is the range of R. Is that clear to all of you? So now we'll do types of relation. So you can note it down. So now uh, we do types of sets, types of relations. Now let us do type types of relation. Before that, you should know the relation on a set A. What in by relation on a set A? Okay. Suppose A is a non-empty set. 
Suppose capital A is a non-empty set. The relation R on a set A is a subset of A cross A. The relation R on a set A is defined as the subset of A cross A. Okay? So its definition is the relation the relation R on a set A on a non-empty set on a non-empty set A is defined as the is defined as the subset is defined as the subset of subset of A cross A okay the relation R on a set on a non-empty set A is defined as the subset of A cross A so this is the definition of relation on a set A that is the relation R on a non-empty set A is defined as the subset of A cross A okay so now example let us take an example uh, before we do types of relations let us take an example of relation on a set let capital A is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 let capital A is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 okay so now now let us find out A cross A so how can you get A cross A A cross A A into A A cross A A set money nikal this family A cross A so how can you get A cross A again you have to write A is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 so you know how to get it isn't it what is a cross a first of all you take this one 1 comma 1 it is 1 comma 1 1 comma 2 it is 1 comma 3 next possible ordered pair 2 comma 1 2 comma 1 2 comma 2 2 comma 3 comma next 3 comma 1 3 comma 2 3 comma 3 so these are the possible ordered pairs of A cross A. Suppose if we take R is equal to within second bracket 1 comma 1, 2 comma 2, 3 comma 3, uh, this is 1 comma 2 and 2 comma 1. So this R is a subset of A cross A. So this R is a relation on the set A this r is a subset of a cross a so this r is known as the relation on the set a so since here r is a subset of a cross a okay pahila hami le chai kema garyo a cross b euta set dekhi arko set ma garyo yo chai hami le same set ma nai gardai chau ta yo same set ma nai gardai chau bhanne chai ela ke bhancha relation on the set a itself is that clear now this definition is the relation R on a non NP set A is defined as the subset of A cross A. Is that clear? So here capital R is equal to, I mean, yeah, khali order pair. 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, so here R is a subset of A cross A. So in this case, R is known as the relation. R is known as the relation. R is known as the relation. Relation on the set A. On the set A. So I think you have understood it. So you can copy it. Now we'll do types of relation now. So, I will give you an example in the book. I will give you an example in the book. I will give you an example in the types of relation. So, I will give you an example in the book. Problem. 
So now, now you have a question, sir. Book ma. Uh, example of relation, right? Example of relation. Let capital A is equal to one comma two comma three comma four, right? And B is equal to B is equal to so one comma two comma three comma five. One comma two comma three comma five. And R is the relation from A to B. R is the relation from A to B, A to B defined by, A to B defined by, A to B defined by X comma Y belongs to the relation R, belongs to the R which implies that X is greater than Y. Right, x is greater than y, where x belongs to capital A, okay, where this x belongs to capital A, and this y belongs to capital B, and this y belongs to capital B. So you have to find R relation R. Okay, so now this is the this is just like a question. Let capital A is equal to the set A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 and the set B is equal to 1, 2, 3, 5 and R is the relation from A to B which is defined as X, Y belongs to the relation R which implies that X is greater than Y where, when, uh, where, where this X belongs to capital A and this Y belongs to capital B. Is that clear? So now you have to uh, write down the set of ordered pairs x comma y such that instead of a comma b it is given as x comma y and here x is greater than y where x belongs to capital A and y belongs to capital B. Is that clear? Now you have to find out the relation R. Relation R from A to B. Is that clear? So how we have this? X say A mouse, your Y say K mouse, B mouse, that X should be greater than Y. So 1 comma 1 nino by na, take sa, 1 comma 2 pani uday na, kirmani 1 is less than 2, 1 is less than 3, 1 less than 5 by na you. 2 comma 1, 2 is greater than 1, you can take it, 2 comma 1. But can you take 2 comma 2? No, they are equal, 2 comma 3 pani by na, 2 comma 5 pani by na, kirmani 2 is less than 5, okay. Can you take 3 greater than 1? Yes. 3 greater than 1. Can you take 3 greater than 2? Can you take it? Yes. 3 greater than 2 because the relation is given out here. Uh, 3 comma 2. 3 comma 3. Then they are equal. 3 comma 5. 3 is less than 5. Why not? 4 grab. Comma. Can you take 4 comma 1? 4 is greater than 1. Yes. You can take it. This is 4 comma 1. Can you take 4 comma 2? Yes. 4 comma 2. Right, and can you take 4 comma 3? Yes, you can take it because 4 is greater than 3. But can you take 4 greater than 5? No, 4 is less than 5. So, uh, this is the only set of the relation R. That is, 2 is in relation with 1 here, 2 is greater than 1, 3 is greater than 1, 3 is greater than 2, 4 is greater than 1, 4 is greater than 2, 4 is greater than 3. So, this is the set of relation R. Okay. So now you can find out the domain of R now. So what is domain of R here? What is domain of R? You know that first element is known as the domain of R. Which is the first element out here? 2 comma. You do it like no. 4, 3, 4. This is the domain R. So what is the range of R? This is domain of R. So what is range of R? Range of R when I go second elements. Second element kun kun say 1 comma 2 comma 3. It is 1 comma 2 comma 3. Is that clear to all of you? I think you have understood it. Okay. So our inverse relation. What do you mean by inverse relation? What do you mean by inverse relation? 
तो यो चाहिँ जस्ट रिलेशन मात्रै भयो इनवर्स रिलेशन चाहिँ के हो भन्दा फेरि सपोज क्यापिटल आर इज इक्वल टु अ सपोज क्यापिटल आर इज इक्वल टु अ यहाँ हामीले लेख्यौ रे ए कोमा बी सपोज क्यापिटल आर इज इक्वल टु ए कोमा बी सो आर इनवर्स भनेको के भयो आर इनवर्स भनेको के भयो आर इनवर्स भनेको के भयो बी कोमा ए वेयर ए कोमा बी बिलोंग्स टु आर so this is the inverse relation okay so r is equal to a comma b cha bhane r is equal to a comma b cha bhane r inverse ke huncha this second element becomes the this second element becomes the first element and first element becomes the second element where a comma b belongs to r is that clear thik ulta lekhnu so yaha pani ke huncha what is r inverse what is r inverse here it will be 1 comma 2 it will be 1 comma 2 this is your 1 comma 3 this is your 2 comma 3 this is your 1 comma 4 this is your 2 comma 4 and this is your 3 comma 4 just ulta gare ne bhai alcha that is your inverse relation okay r inverse is equal to 1 comma 2 1 comma 3 यो 1 comma 2 भयो दिस इज 1 comma 3 2 comma 3 1 comma 4 2 comma 4 एन्ड दिस वन इज 3 comma 4 दिस इज द इनवर्स अफ द रिलेशन व्हाट इज डोमेन अफ आर इनवर्स डोमेन अफ आर इनवर्स इज इक्वल टु कुन भयो 1 2 3 डोम डोमेन अफ आर इनवर्स 1 2 3 इज दैट क्लियर सो व्हाट इज द रेंज अफ आर इनवर्स range of r inverse what is range of r inverse is equal to 2 comma 3 comma 4 it is 2 comma 3 comma 4 second element right so 2 comma 3 comma 4 so you know that in the set of ordered pair first element is known as the domain and the second element is known as the range so i think you have understood it okay so now in this case Range of R is equal to what is range of R is equal to range of R is equal to domain of R inverse. These sets are equal. So range of R is equal to domain of R inverse. Okay, and domain of R is equal to range of R inverse. Is that clear? That is domain of R is equal to range of R inverse, which is equal to 2 comma 3 comma 4, and range of R is equal to domain of R inverse, which is 1, 2, 3 which is uh, domain of R inverse, that is range of R is equal to 1, 2, 3 is equal to domain of R inverse, which is equal to, which is equal to 1, 2, 3. Okay, so we can note it down. So I think you understood the meaning of inverse relation. Okay, so this is known as inverse relation. So this is your inverse relation. This is your inverse relation. Okay, so you can copy it. Now we will do types of relation, okay? So now we will do the types of relation. So number one is void or empty relation. Number two is universal relation. And number three is identity relation. So now let us discuss about this first type of relation that is void or empty relation okay so number one void or empty relation so number one void or empty relation so let us take an example suppose a is equal to one comma two comma three suppose a is a set of these three numbers 1 comma 2 comma 3 and suppose r is defined as the set of ordered pairs such that a minus b is equal to 9 for all a comma b belongs to the set a okay now a comma b hamile yo a comma b kaha bada banaucho set a itself bada banaucho so yeah, is there any set of ordered pairs such that a minus b is equal to 9? So 1 minus 1 0, 2 minus 2 0, 3 minus 3 is 0. 
वन माइनस टू माइनस वन टू माइनस थ्री माइनस वन टू माइनस वन वन थ्री माइनस टू वन इज देर एनी सेट अफ अर्डर पेयर सच दैट ए माइनस बी इज योर नाइन नो कुछ दुईटा नंबर यहाँ घटा फिर तिमा को इजिकल नाइन आईन बने यो आर के दिस इज एन दिस इज एन दिस इज एन एम टी रिनेसन और वर्ड रिनेसन सो यू कैन राइट इट एज आर इज इक्वल टू विद इन सेकेंड ब्रैकेट डोन्ट राइट एनी टर्म आउट हि सो दिस इज द एम टी रिनेसन और यू कैन राइट इट एज आर इज इक्वल टू फाइव फाइव इज एन एम टी सेट फाइव भी के एम टी सेट फाइव इज नोन एज एन एम टी सेट इन क्लास इलेवेन यू डेट फाइव डिनोट्स द एम टी सेट ओके सो यो एक्जापल अफ वर्ड और एम टी रिनेसन एम टी को खाली हो यो आर में कुने पर यहाँ अर्डर पेयर होते हैं दैट मिन्स ये खाली भो सो दिस इज एन एम टी रिनेसन और इट इज अल्सो नोन एज भोइड रिनेसन तो इसको डेफिनेसन हम कस लेट कैपिटल ए बी ए नन एम टी सेट दिस इज अ नन एम टी सेट एंड लेट फाइव बी द एम टी सेट एंड वी नो दैट फाइव इज ए सबसेट अफ ए क्रस ए तो यहाँ हमें तो ये ए क्रस ए तो निले ए क्रस ए तो ए क्रस ए यहाँ कसरी लेखि लेखि ए क्रस ए यू नो दैट ए क्रस ए लेखने मेथड के हो ये हम दुईपट लेख है दैट इज ए इज इक्वल टू वन कमा टू कमा थ्री अभी अज वा लेख वन कमा टू कमा थ्री यी बड़ा हम सेट अफ अर्डर पेरेस लेख् सकता ठीक है व्हाट इज ए क्रस ए ना दिस इज वन कमा वन टू कमा वन कमा वन देन कम्स वन कमा टू देन कम्स वन कमा थ्री राइट देन कम्स टू कमा वन टू कमा टू देन कम्स टू कमा थ्री राइट देन कम्स थ्री कमा वन थ्री कमा टू कमा थ्री कमा थ्री दैट इज इट इज द सेट अफ अल अर्डर पेयर्स इट इज द सेट अफ अल पसिबल अर्डर पेयर्स तो यहाँ कुने दुईटा नंबर छसमें कि सब्ट्रैक्शन नाइन होने वाले यहाँ कुछ आए Is that clear to all of you? That means this phi is a subset of all these elements in A cross A, right? Can you imagine your phi? What is it? You keep a empty set, man. Ta. Yeah, kune pani duita number testo kare chahi na. Just le chhe A minus B is equal nine less satisfy gor cha. So I think everyone understood it. Buzum bar chahi isme. Ramno song buzum. You don't say I mean a set of ordered pair or lehu. कुने पर दुईटा नंबर जस्ते वन माइनस टू कति भाई माइनस वन नाइन होते हुए वन माइनस थ्री माइनस फोर थ्री माइनस टू वन थ्री माइनस थ्री जीरो यहाँ कुछ सेट अफ अर्डर पेयर छाइन जिसमें कि हमें तो दुईटा को डिफ्रेन्स यहाँ नाइन निकल सको आर के भम टी सेट भैग और इट इज अल्सो डिनोटेड बाई फाइव आर इज इक्वल फाइव कि ब्राकेट भि यहाँ कुने टर्म लेखन सकते हैं हमी ठीक है सो अब यो वॉइड और एम टी रिनेसन को डेफिनेसन के हो वॉइड और एम टी रिनेसन को डेफिनेसन वॉइड और एम टी रिनेसन को डेफिनेसन के होता लेट कैपिटल ए बी ए नन एम टी सेट बी ए नन एम टी सेट एंड लेट फाइव बी एन एम टी सेट एंड लेट फाइव बी एन एम टी सेट ओके एंड नाउ यू नो दैट फाइव इज अ सबसेट अफ एनी सेट इन क्लास इलेवेन यू डिड इट एंड एम टी सेट इज अ सबसेट अफ एवरी सेट दैट इज यू कैन राइट हियर फाइव इज अ सबसेट अफ ए क्रस ए That means this phi is a subset of a cross a. That is, an empty set is a subset of every set. So here you can write phi is a subset of a cross a. So the relation, so the relation phi is known as is known as void or empty relation. Void or empty. Relation is that clear? So this is the definition of void or empty relation. That is, let capital A be a non-empty set, and let phi be an empty set, and phi is a subset of A cross A. 
So the relation phi is known as the void or empty relation. So this is the definition of void or empty relation. So you can you can note it down. Okay. So now we'll do the next relation that is your universal relation. So now let us do the universal relation, okay? So first of all, take an example. So let us take an example for universal relation. Number two. Number two is universal relation. So what is meant by universal relation now? Okay, so let us take an example capital A is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 1 comma 2 comma 3 Let us define a relation Capital R is equal to the set of all ordered pairs A comma B such that A minus B is less than 9 For all A comma B belongs to the set A Okay, is that clear this relation? So suppose set A is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 and the relation R is defined as the set of all ordered pairs A comma B such that this is your such that A minus B is less than 9 for all A comma B belongs to the set A. Okay, A belongs to the set A and also B belongs to the set A. So now capital R is equal to here kick on the set above so, 1 minus 1, 0, 2 minus 2, 0, 3 minus 3, 0, that is less than 9. So, you can see the order pairs. So, you can see the difference. So, you can see the less than 9. So, you can see that is 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, Next, next one, 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3, Pani Aya. So, here you set of all, set of all possible ordered pairs. That is, 1 minus 1 is 0, less than 9. 1 minus 2 minus 1, less than 9. 1 minus 3 minus 2, less than 9. 2 minus 1 is 1, less than 9. 2 minus 2, 0, less than 9. 2 minus 3 minus 1, less than 9. 3 minus 1, 2, less than 9. 3 minus 2, 1, less than 9. 3 minus 3, 0, which is less than 9. The set of all ordered pairs, A cross A, sub pain I. You actually A cross A na yo. Buzda sa? So you dun say relation R like yo. Actually yo kyo A cross A na yo. Yo di. अब यो तिमीले यदि a cross a निकाले भए सबै यही नै आउने थिए हैन अगाडि मैले एक्जाम्पल देखाए त a cross a लेखे भने सबै यही नै आउँथ्यो सेट अफ अल ऑर्डर पेयर्स विल बी देयर सो इन दैट केस इन यूनिवर्सल रिलेशन यू विल हैव कैपिटल r इज इक्वल टु a cross a कैपिटल r इज इक्वल टु a cross a यदि रिलेशन r इज इक्वल टु a cross a भयो भने त्यसले हामी के भन्छौ यूनिवर्सल रिलेशन भनेर भन्छु इज दैट क्लियर टु अल अफ यू in universal relation, if capital A be a non-empty set, the relation R is said to be universal relation if capital R is equal to A cross A. Is that clear to all of you? So now, let us write down the definition of universal relation. Universal relation. So universal relation ko definition ki ba? Let capital A be a non-empty set. Let capital A be a non-empty set. Let capital A be a non-empty set. The relation R, the relation R is said to be, is said to be, 
is said to be a universal relation is said to be a universal relation if capital R is equal to A cross E. Is that clear to all of you? So what is the definition of universal relation? So here is actually what is the example of this example. This is A and B set of ordered pairs. So in this example, it will be less than 9. But you see, all set of ordered pairs of A cross A is equal to A. यो आर पनी बायो तो इसमें हमें लिखे दिखो आर इसी को लो एक रॉस है यदि हमें ले यो कंडीशन नॉल लिखे रा आर को यो कंडीशन नॉल लिखे रा ए इसी को लो वन टू थ्री फिर ए इसी को लो वन टू थ्री लिखे बाकी उन्हें एक रॉस है इसी को लो ये नहीं आओगे थे तो आर इस डिफाइन एस दिस रिलेशन ओके आर इस डि� यदि कुने पनी रिलेशन में कुने पनी आर रिलेशन में यदि गिवन सेट ए सा नॉन एम्प्टी सेट सा र कैपिटल आर इसी को ले ए क्रॉस ए आए वने त्यो रिलेशन ना है मिकी बंसो यूनिवर्सल रिलेशन बने रह बंसो ठीक सा लेट कैपिटल ए बी अ नॉन एम्प्टी सेट द रिलेशन आर इस सेट टू बी अ यूनिवर्सल रिलेशन इफ so this is your universal relation and this is the example of universal relation. Is that clear now? Now we will do the identity relation. So you can note it down. तो तीन में लिखी सके वाला है ना तो अब हम ही करते हो identity relation so now let's do identity relation अच्छा अब identity relation से क्यों बंदा बेरे So, we have a definition. This is what we have to do. So, what is the identity relation? Let capital A be a non-empty set of ordered pairs. Non-empty set. Non-empty set. Then, capital R is set to be identity relation As an identity relation is usually denoted by IA, as a lecture, not IA. Let capital A be a non-empty set. Let capital A be a non-empty set. Then capital I, this is suffix. You know that this is suffix. A is said to be identity relation if IA is equal to A comma A. Same element should be there. For all small a belongs to the set A. Is that clear? Let capital A be a non empty set. Then capital I A is said to be identity relation if capital I A is equal to within second bracket A comma A comma for all small a belongs to capital A. Is that clear? So let us take an example here now. Let capital A is equal to we have an example of I mean identity relation like so. Take so. So I think you have understood this uh, definition. Let capital A be a non empty set. Then I, this is suffix capital A is said to be identity relation if capital IA is equal to within second bracket. This is order pair. Same elements are there. A comma A for all small A belongs to capital A. Right? So let us take an example. Let capital A is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3, right? Suppose R1 is the relation here. 1 comma 1, 2 comma 2, 3 comma 3, right? Suppose R2 is equal to 1 comma 1, 2 comma 2. Second bracket closed. And R3 is equal to 1 comma 1, 
टू कॉमा टू थ्री कॉमा थ्री एंड सपोज देर इज अनदर एलिमेंट वन कॉमा थ्री राइट सो लेट एस टेक दिस एग्जाम्पल ना लेट कैपिटल ए इज इक्वल टू वन कॉमा टू कॉमा थ्री सो हियर आर वन इज द रिलेशन वन कॉमा वन टू कॉमा टू थ्री कॉमा थ्री इट इज जस्ट लाइक यू ए कॉमा ए यो वन टू थ्री एलिमेंट्स हरु सा सेट ए मा तो यो सप्पई को यो सप्पई को तेस्ते तेस्ते नंबर्स हैं यार सप्पई को यो सेम नंबर्स हैं यो वन को बन्चा वन कॉमा वन टू को बन्चा टू कॉमा टू थ्री को बन्चा थ्री कॉमा थ्री सो दिस इज एन आइडेंटिटी रिलेशन ऐलाच हैं मिकी बन्चो आइडेंटिटी रिलेशन बनेरा बन्चो ठीक सा अबो रिलेशन टू में आरो आर टू में आरो यो ए मा पर्यो 1,2,3 छ तर यहाँ हाम्रो दुईटा मात्रै छ 1,1 र 2,2 मात्रै छ तर यहाँ के छैन 3,3 नै छैन भनेपछि यो के होइन आइडेन्टिटी रिलेसन होइन दिस इज नट दिस आर2 इज नट एन आइडेन्टिटी रिलेसन ओके त यो 1,2,3 छ भने सबैको सेम नम्बर अर्डर पेयर हुन्छ सबैको सेम अर्डर पेयर हुन पर्छ 1,1 2,2 3,3 तर यहाँ थ्री कोमा थ्री छैन थ्री कोमा थ्री छैन भने दिस आर टू इज नट एन आइडेन्टिटी रिलेसन इज दैट क्लियर नाउ लेट एस चेक दिस आर थ्री तो इसमें वन कोमा वन पन छा टू कोमा टू को पन छा थ्री कोमा थ्री पन छा तर अज एट एक्स्ट्रा आए वन कोमा थ्री इज इट आइडेन्टिटी रिलेसन नो दिस इज नट एन आइडेन्टिटी रिलेसन क्योंकि आइडेन्टिटी रिलेसन में वन कोमा वन टू कोमा टू थ्री कोमा थ्री बाहे अरु एक्स्ट्रा होते हैं कमती भी होना कमती यहाँ से कमती भ थ्री कमा थ्री छाइन कमती भाई आइडेन्टिटी रिनेसन होते हैं तो वन कमा वन टू कमा टू थ्री कमा थ्री भाई एक्स्ट्रा भो आइडेन्टिटी रिनेसन होते हैं तो वन कमा थ्री कारण दिस इज नट एन आइडेन्टिटी रिनेसन दिस इज नट एन आइडेन्टिटी रिनेसन बिकज वन कमा थ्री बिलंग्स टू आर थ्री तो आइडेन्टिटी रिनेसन में कमती होना ज्यादा एक्स्ट्रा भी होने भेन आइडेन्टिटी रिनेसन में सो आई थिंक यू हेब अंडरस्टुड इट सो दिज आर द थ्री टाइप्स अफ रिनेसन सो आई थिंक यू हेब अंडरस्टुड इट त आज हम ये नई कर तिमें घर में यह रामस रिविजन करज ए नया चैप्टर आयो है तो सायद तिमें क्लास इलेवेन को बिर्स भी नहीं सको फिर एक पल्ट रामस रिविजन कर घर में रिवाइज कर रिविजन कर तो नेक्स्ट क्लास में मर अरु टाइप्स को रिनेसन्स सीख बुझ आज हम ये नौ बुझ त तिमें घर में रामस हेन यो रामस पढ़ू रामस याद करने रामस बुझने बुझने चेष्टा कर बुझेन यू कैन कमेंट मे और यू कैन कल मे अल्सो ओके तो तिमें ये रामस घर में गये रामस बुझने तो यह बुझे मेक्स्ट क्लास रामस बुझने ठीक है तो नेक्स्ट क्लास में अरुण टाइप्स अफ रिनेसन सीख दैट इज रिफ्लेक्सिव सीमेट्रिक एंड ट्रांजिटिव भाई रिनेसन से हमी नेक्स्ट क्लास में कर ठीक है सो दिस इज माई फर्स्ट क्लास विथ यू दैट इज द चैप्टर रिनेसन्स ओके सो आफ्टर वी फिनीस रिनेसन देन विल डू फंक्शन्स बुझ टाइप्स अफ फंक्शन्स करी बाइनरी अपरेशन्स कर ठीक है सो दिस मच इज फर टुडे